What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the Week 4 CWL Invite Matchup, Forbidden versus Dark Looter Z. And when you guys saw the thumbnail, it is the best way to describe this war. By far the best war ever. If you do not believe me, stay tuned for the attacks and stay tuned for the stats. Look at the total destruction in this war, 98.6%. Uh, DLZ getting 98.04%. So forbidden, clutching this narrow victory by just over half a percent. And we'll go ahead and check out each side of the maps. Of course, both sides clearing uh, all the Town Hall 10s. And even uh, almost half of the 11s, each side picking up three 11 11 three stars. We will, we will go ahead and take a look at each one of those 11 11 triples. So uh, that'll come a little later in the video. We'll go ahead and start off with um, our Town Hall 9 attack first. And then from there, we'll get into the 10v10 action. I got five 10v10s to show you guys and three of the 11v11 three stars. Here's the stats on the screen, though. Check this out. Forbidden. Three 11v11 three stars. 16 10v10 three stars. Going perfect on dips. And Town Hall 9's hitting at a very solid 75%, which is actually less than what we normally hit at. Uh, but regardless, 75% providing all kinds of scouts. And neither side, I'm telling you guys, neither side could have made a mistake this war. And neither side did. I mean, if you look at these, well, here's the DLZ stats. There they go, right there on the screen. Damn near the same. Three 11 v 11 three stars. 16 10 v 10 triples this war, you guys. Their Town Hall 9s hitting at my favorite percent, that being 69%. They also had all kinds of scouts. Uh, I didn't talk about the 10 v 11 game, considering that both sides ran anti three star Town Hall 11. So the 10 v 11 game uh, was not as crucial as it would be in other wars. But I'm, tell I'm, I'm telling you guys, neither side could have made a mistake this war neither side did both clans pretty much having the best war of their lives and it was just an incredible war coming down two percent at the very end um could not have asked or seen a better war and i'm very proud to bring it to you guys uh so that was shout out to nightman picking up that 99 three star so now we'll go ahead and check out the heavy hitter action, what everybody is here to see. We're gonna start off with Indus Broadway, AKA Java. Gonna be doing a sexy queen charge Lalo, starting his queen up here at one o'clock. He's got two rages for her, and he's got three heals for the hogs. But wait till you guys see uh, this queen charge. Uh, so just being nice and patient with the funnel, you guys see there's two archers on the elixir pump, and the DE drill just trying to help with that funnel. First Rage is down as Queen approached the enemy king. He's gonna go down just a few shots. She's gonna take out the wizard tower and go ahead and take out the archer tower. But And she is going exactly where he wants her to go. And here comes King and just a couple wizards down as he does want to gain access to that 230 compartment. There's the first wall break. Uh, he does still have six more wall breakers. He's gonna go ahead and pop uh, his next Rage in hopes of getting that next wall popped. Um, mainly, I mean, look at what he can get. He can get the enemy queen from that compartment. He can, uh, the most important thing, especially with the hog attack, is breaking that defensive ring. You do not want to have too many of your hogs splitting. So he got the wall break, poison down, enemy CC down. Um, and she is charging this compartment. Even drops a couple of loons in hopes to pick up that archer tower. Did not get the archer tower, did stay up, but it's not going to matter. He does still have queen ability as he goes ahead, goes ahead and takes out that expo, being nice and patient. He does still have a few more wizards that he can bring, uh, or that he's going to be bringing for cleanup, as this was uh, a more lengthy uh, queen charge. So, enemy, once he sees that the queen is locked on to the enemy queen immediately he goes in and sends in three groups of hogs as they are quickly going to be approaching that inferno tower and that bomb tower that's where his first heal is going to go there it goes uh and, and dropping down a few more hogs on that mortar uh down the bottom left hand side 
uh, just to make sure that these hogs again stay nice and tight through this base. One more heal spell left to deploy. You can probably guess where he's going to put it. Only four more defenses, defenses left. And if you guys missed it, the enemy queen did go down. But check this out. The healers were still up. Were still up. They went ahead and peeled off of her and started healing up those hogs. Probably didn't even need it. Uh, but it was definitely a nice touch. Nothing but cleanup. Java getting that incredible queen charge wallow. That was the first 10v10 we're going to look at. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Spartacus. Uh, this is going to be a hit from OBL. He's me coming here. Check out this wall break though. Absolutely love this wall break. One hog down, goes ahead and pops the Tesla, tanking everything, drops down those wall breakers. Uh, very, very nice, subtle touch to get that wall pop. Uh, we have a golem going in. As this is a straight up, uh, just a CB, uh, just gonna be a CB Lolo. Um, it, it, he actually does have a couple bowlers he is bringing uh, with this uh, kill squad. But again, those tiny kill squads doing all kinds of work. And check that out. Second Rage right there in the core gets the second layer wall popped. Uh, definitely rewind that if you guys missed it. So two Rages for this very, again, a very small kill squad. But very crucial getting that second layer wall broke completely uh just opened up this base taking out that air defense and as you guys see with those three air defenses you can pretty much tell exactly where these hounds and where these loons are going to be headed they'll be going around this base counterclockwise starting with three haste dropping on those haste first getting those two hounds down to tank that uh that air defense over at three o'clock and again just bringing seven haste spells uh, those two rage were for the kill squad bringing seven haste and pretty much every single one of these haste spells are touching each other constantly pushing these uh, loons through this base one shining the infernal tower they go for the infernal tower to the uh fourth and final air defense i don't even know but there is still a hound left up amongst all of that madness completely wrecked this base we'll go and times it the archer tower last defense to go down all kinds of pups, all kinds of minions. Incredible uh, execution on that attack. Absolutely loved it. So that was the second 10v10. We got three more to get through, you guys. And I'm sure you can only imagine how difficult it was to pick what 10v10 three stars um, we were going to be showing you guys. Again, 16 10v10s. Uh, definitely had to pick this one. Huge shout to OC. CBG, the bitch god in Forbidden. What made this attack even more special, besides the fact that this base gets completely wrecked, is the fact that this was done fresh. Um, it was one of those bases where it was it got hit very early into war. C uh, CBG said, use those scouts for other tens. I'm gonna hit this one fresh, which is exactly what he's gonna be doing. Queen, walk, bitch. Um, just completely rips the score. Look at all of the bowlers inside the score. The bowler bounces off of each of those expos um, on the right and left hand side of the CC. End up taking out the bomb towers as you guys just saw. It only brought one uh, jump spell to this attack. And you just pretty much let his kill squad or that main push um, beat through that uh, that core wall. It only need only needed one jump and pretty much opened up this entire base and as you see there goes the bowlers getting through the backside breaking through that wall taking out that archer tower king is still up somehow and still has queen ability we'll go ahead and times this as you guys see the base got completely wrecked uh good base identification beautiful execution on that one uh cbg always smashing it uh with all different forms of bitch had to bring you guys that one and the fact that it was done fresh all right next up we got two more to get through before we get into the 11 11 action of course i gotta bring you guys an epic sui hero lalo from none other than storm dropping down just a few loons not only to take out the archer tower but gets a very easy CC pull. Even with a damage CC, he still is able to sui law this base because those loons were able to get the CC lure. And didn't even bring wall breakers, just bringing down his heroes, starting them at three o'clock. They're gonna walk down with ability. Queen is gonna even pick up uh, that wizard tower. Uh, there it goes. He's gonna be starting his Lalo over here on the right hand side of the base again dropping or pre dropping those haste spells down uh that hound knows he dropped it kind of far off to the right hand side so it cut across 
tanking not only the expo but the archer tower as he goes ahead and brings in loons pretty much dropping anywhere from three to five loons uh in each group nice rage right there in the core good patience here as there is a bomb tower next to enemy queen he makes sure she hops over the wall drops down that skelly spell as all those skellies were under rage gets that queen kill next rage spell down has already took out uh, one of the Inferno Towers. All air defenses down at this point. Uh, last spell that he used was a heal spell. Even with the Inferno Tower, uh, the Expo, and three Archer Towers, we're talking four point defenses left up. But with that heal spell and all of those loons, no question was this base wrecked. And he got a 10v10 six pack this war, staying on top in CWL invite on that leaderboard. Storm completely wrecking it love the sui hero lalo all right guys next up we got fry black aka must and check this out guys calling this one apparently apparently calling this one the skelly donut kind of makes sense raid spell down i think he had what five skeleton spells in total takes out the queen takes out the cc uh and even gets that expo uh so beautiful execution on that and if you guys missed it, he did drop one baby dragon to tank that archer tower. Drops down a couple loons to go ahead and take it out. And the rest of this base, he's going to be pretty much doing a Sui Hero Lolo uh, down here. But check it out. Doesn't have to worry about the queen. Doesn't have to worry about any of the CC troops. And goes ahead and gets this wall break. And just wait till you guys see what his queen picks up. On the scout, it was almost, almost a 9v10 3 star. But with these 4040 heroes, there's pretty much no question, especially with must uh, execution, no doubt was this base going to be triple. Check this out though. Wait till you guys see and check it out. He still has queen ability, still has queen ability, gets the air defense, pops ability, gets the inferno tower, goes ahead and takes out the Tesla and the air sweeper under that ability. He's gonna go ahead and stars Lalo over here on the far left hand side of the base and look at that triangular air defense uh placement as he goes ahead and carves out the entire six o'clock section of this base um you already know where the pass where these loons are gonna be headed going around clockwise around this base and for spells he has three haste for the lalo and one heal spell and look at this huge wad of loons inside that haste spell they take out the expo they take out the air defense only one air defense left up goes ahead and drops another haste uh they one shot the expo the next defense they target is the air defense uh almost all the air targeting defenses are down uh goes ahead and drops that heal spell so it does in fact cover the edge of that wizard tower as he had that huge clump of loons uh could have been devastating but dropped that heal spell down healed up all those loons back up to full health and the last defense is actually the archer tower up there at two o'clock and nothing but cleanup must completely smashing this one huge shout out uh to him love the execution uh beautiful beautiful attack all right guys now we're going to go ahead and get into the three 11 to 11 three stars um and again forbidden running anti three town hall 11 layouts same thing with dlz all all of their 11 all seven of their 11s were anti three so black gonna be doing a queen charge starting over here um at about eight o'clock as he does want to get access into that long compartment right there goes and gets the wall breakers down uh they pop the wall no problems and this is gonna be a lolo but check it out guys he has a jump spell in the spell comp wait till you guys see how he goes ahead and uses this jump spell uh so charge going very strong uh, goes ahead and pops uh king ability and pretty much what he was doing is just clearing all that trash to make sure that, that queen would not walk around the base making sure that she goes into that compartment and picks up all of this value um not too sure why she didn't go ahead and get that air defense but check this out drops two hogs to go ahead and take out the ad there goes the jump spell uh pretty much going to open up this entire core he's gonna go ahead and get the eagle artillery uh and check out look at those hogs doing work uh love that uh, addition to the attack to get that air defense not too sure why she didn't walk up but with that jump spell he was able to get that eagle artillery down um and under uh under ability he went ahead and took out the enemy queen so here we go lalo starting over here at the top of the map uh where he does have a quite a few spells he's able to use 
on these loons only used one rage and one jump for that queen charge. So here we go. Uh, rage spell down right above the town hall as they one shot that infernal tower. They double back a little bit to go ahead and get the archer tower, but they're still inside that rage spell, followed up by that haste. And there's no sweepers that he has to deal with. Uh, actually coming in behind the sweeper, only making the flight portion of this attack move that much faster. Nice split. They're going to one shot the wizard tower, one shot the expo, and still has one more haste spell left to deploy. Uh, they're going to be ending down here at 6 o'clock. There goes the warden ability. Beautiful execution. Love the queen charge. Uh, Black Mr. Estonia himself getting that three star. All kinds of cleanup. Uh, uh, incredible attack. Loved it. All right, next up, we have Edo Fido 93. You guys might know him as Mask. Also going to be doing a queen charge Lalo, starring as queen over here at 9 o'clock. Um, King, similar to the to the start of Black's attack, again, using King just to go ahead and funnel all that trash, making sure the queen goes the right way, but he did use a couple wall breakers uh, because he wanted to make sure that that king took out that air defense. Uh, got the wall pop, king got the AD. All is well right now. Goes in and gets the next uh, wall pop as he does want to charge into this eagle artillery. Drops down the rage spell, a few more wall breakers, and gets the second layer wall broke. Um, also, just an incredible queen charge. Beautiful execution on all of these 11v11 triples. Um, also gets another air defense. So two out of the four air defenses are down. Poison down for the enemy CC. And look at all these expos. This level, these level 50 archer queens are so freaking godly. Look at this. All four expos and a cannon all targeting this queen but with those rage with those raged up healers she somehow manages to stay alive as he does want to take out the enemy queen with his queen there we go pops the warden ability gets the enemy queen and somehow miraculously still has the queen ability gonna be starring lalo uh up here at the top of the base uh goes in and drops down that hay spell they're gonna take out the wizard tower uh from there they're gonna go directly into the infernal tower uh, so one Inferno Tower down, one more to go, and pretty much going to be ending this Lalo on the exact same spot um, that Black ended his on uh, with that Inferno Tower down there at 6 o'clock. Uh, still has one more heal spell uh, that he can use and does still have a couple more loons uh, that he'll be using to distract. So there we go, Red Bomb. Uh, the Red Bomb hit the loons, but dropped that heal spell down just in time they also hit another red bomb but under that heal spell uh he's gonna be able to get through this base the loons uh were just shy of taking out that wizard tower uh but right there had a few more loons left up gets the wizard tower down last one to go down was that elixir storage beautiful beautiful attack now we're gonna go ahead and check out this uh lemmy 11 three star from club uh this is actually gonna be a queen charge hog attack uh wait till you guys see this uh, I'm going to give you guys fair warning. S definitely pay attention to the very end of this attack, what he's going to be using this one little barbarian for. We'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit. Raid spell down, goes ahead and gets that 9 o'clock wall junction popped as he does want his queen to go into that big compartment. And again, just using king to funnel all this trash to make sure that that queen goes exactly where he wants her to go. Goes ahead, pops king ability. Enemy CC is down. Of course, he did have one poison for it. Um, and goes ahead and drops down another rage spell. Actually ends up shooting queen from over the wall. Uh, and he does still have uh, queen ability. And look at this huge compartment right here where he's going to take out all kinds of defenses. Goes ahead and drops down a couple more wall breakers. Pretty much end up swagging those as that queen will be staying inside of that big compartment down there. Our, starting his hogs nice and early though. Um, over here at about uh, 10 o'clock and 12, they're going to be meeting up in this uh, compartment up here at the top or on the expo, the wizard tower, and the inferno tower where he had a heal spell. Uh, does have some ground skellies chasing these hogs. There he goes, pops the warden ability. Notice he went and he decided to put the grand warden with the hogs as opposed to the queen charge. Uh, pretty much did not need it. Um, and now all these hogs have those increased hit points from those hogs inside that Grand Warden aura. Uh, last uh, spell is down covering the wizard towers. And like I said, guys, pay close attention to the end of this raid. 
as you guys see these hogs are going to be ending on a wizard tower a fully maxed wizard tower but with this one this little barbarian the unsung hero of the war there he goes distracting that wizard tower just enough time to keep these hogs up takes out the wizard tower even hit a spring trap but it's amazing even that even that one little barbarian that wizard tower had to shoot him three different times but that is gonna do it wrapping it up that was the third and final 11 to 11 three star from this war i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this war recap like i said the best war ever a combined 32 10 v 10 triples a combined six 11 11 three stars forbidden edging out the victory by just over half of a percent huge shout to everybody over in dark blue or z best of luck to you guys in the rest of your season and of course huge shout to everybody over in forbidden love this war hopefully you guys enjoyed the recap if you did smack that like button subscribe to the channel comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below as always this is riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next